Hi, so welcome back to making the Regency dress using, I have to get this right, McCall's M8132 pattern. Um, so in the last video, we talked about underlining your bodice pieces. So right now you should have all five of the bodice pieces underlined and basted into place. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch the first video. Um, once you have all five of those pieces, we are going to start sewing them together. So step two is stitch the side back, piece two, side back sections to side edges of bodice back. Um, this is the bodice back. Um, and I find it easiest to always orient myself based on what my pattern is showing me, right? So I have this picture here and I have this facing in the same direction. So I know that this edge here, right here, is where that piece will go. Um, now something that is very important to remember about sewing is that the right side is always going to go together with the right side. Um, I'm like getting myself oriented here. Right side to right side. Um, so this is actually the other side of the bodice. This is going to be our left-sided piece. So I should say correct side to correct side. That means, see the shininess? This is my real fabric, this kind of duller, cottony fabric. That's my underlining. That is going to marry the shiny fabric side. So I'm going to sew the two of these together. Um, as I mentioned in the first video, there are little triangles on all of the pattern pieces, which indicate notches. When you have two pieces of um, the pattern that you're lining up to sew, you wanna match your notches together um, so that they get sewn in the correct places. Um, then we're going to pin in place. So I always recommend having all of your excess fabric to the left of your um, needle. Um, so half, lay the, the two pieces down on the table with all of the working fabric out towards the left. Um, that means that for me, I'm working on the left side of the bodice. I have the two left pieces. Um, the piece three, the bodice back, is on top of piece two, the side back. Then we're going to take our pins and you want the pin head facing towards you um, so that you can pull it out as you go. We are just going to pin with the pin head towards you. And if you ever have any questions about like, is this right? Am I pinning this correctly? The best thing to do is open it up once you have those pins in place and you're going to see what the seam will look like once it's sewn. So that is nice and pretty. I see the fabric that I want facing out. Um, I don't see any of like the dull cotton fabric, which means that I have correctly pinned these two things together. Now I'm going to put it on the machine. I'm going to have my excess fabric to the left lined up at the 5 8 mark, put my foot down, now I put my needle down. Um, if you are going right from basting, make sure that you shorten your machine stitch to your standard stitch length, um, which for me, my machine reads 2.5 as my standard stitch length. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and sew. Um, 
Um, sometimes your tails kind of get tangled up in what you're doing. That is okay. Especially when you have all of these like basting um, tails like hanging around. Just whenever you are messing around on your machine, make sure you don't have your foot anywhere near the pedal. So that's not fun. Um, the reason that you want to make sure that this isn't getting too, too tangled up is that it could eventually form a knot, um, which would prevent you from sewing further. So just getting all of these little friends out of the way. If I had been more judicious when I started, then I wouldn't have to do that right now. Okay. your pins out. Um, I always learned not to sew over your pins. You can break your pin, you can break your needle, then you got little pointy metal bits flying everywhere. Not a measure of success. So now I'm going to cut the tail of this very short. We kept the basting tails long um, so that it would be easier to pull those stitches when the time came. Um, but these we want to keep nice and trim. So that was one. And then to check, we simply open it up lightly tug on either side to check the strength of your stitch. Um, if nothing's falling apart, congrats, you did that one correctly. Um, so next we're going to do the right side of the bodice, um, same as what we just did, so, except that now it will be the inverse. So now I have piece three on the bottom, piece two on the top, both are still to all of the working fabric is to the left. Um, and I have the pin head facing towards me. You match those notches up so you know that you're pinning everything in the right place. Like this. And again, if you wanna double check, open it up, make sure it looks correct try and get all of our tails in order before we start sewing this seam. Line it up on your machine at that 5 8 mark. I'm going to go foot down, needle down. And then we sew on. Pause to pull your pin. Oop. I have a magnetic pin catcher, but um, that doesn't do much good if I don't put the pin on it. Make sure everything is looking nice and strong. Once you've done that, that's step two done. Step three, stitch bodice backs to bodice front. So now we have, these are our bodice backs. Um, and we are going to be doing that at the shoulders up here and these sides over here. Um, so since we already have the right piece of the bodice out and working, we're gonna start there. So I have my um, bodice back laying down on the table, facing up towards me. 
um, my nice shiny fabric. Then I have my bodice front. It is going to go face down. So correct side to correct side um, to meet my bodice back. Then we're going to look for those notches. Go ahead and line them up. I'm starting here on the side and then I'm going to pin in place. So all of my working material is to my left. Pin head is facing me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this on my machine. With as many tails controlled as possible. Line it up five eighths, foot down, needle down, and then we sew. Pulling your pin as you go, not sewing over any pins. Not today. Foot up, needle up. And then we trim that tail. Open it up, check the strength of your seam by gently tugging, nice and strong. Then we move to the shoulder. So again, we want to make sure that we are doing the correct side to the correct side. Don't get your bodice twisted. So again, with the bodice back face up on the table, you're putting the bodice front down, correct side down, so correct side to correct side, and lining up the notches on the shoulder seams. Um, having your working fabric towards your left, go ahead and pin in place with the pin head facing towards you. Good. And if this takes you longer than it takes me, that is fine. You are just starting out, I'm assuming, since you are watching this tutorial. Put it on the machine at five eighths, foot down, needle down. Go ahead and sew off. And we're going to trim that tail nice and short. Almost got my fabric there. And then open that seam, check, check the strength of it. Nice. So now you can see things are starting to take shape. Um, when you have the right side out, you can see the correct side out. You can see this is the right side of our bodice. Um, it, the size is gonna change a lot because there's a lot more steps here. But you can see this is, this is the start of what we've got. So we are going to do the left side of the bodice now. So again, bodice back on the left side. It's going to be face up on the table. We're gonna do the side first. So go ahead. I lied, I lied. We're gonna do the bodice front side up on the table. Now it's going to look, since we're looking at the front side, it's the right side of the front, but it's the left side of the back. If you aren't understanding what I'm saying, that's fine. Just do the opposite <laughs> side than what you just did. So we're going to orient ourselves to the back. The triangular kind of piece here, this is your side. So that's gonna go face down onto your bodice front, working material towards your left going to pin in place with pins facing the back. 
Again, if you want to open this up and make sure that it's looking right to you, you totally can do that. Take the time um, to check before you sew. Um, that way you know you're not making any mistakes. strong and now we do the shoulder so again the bodice back will come down face down to touch on the bodice front so that your working material is to your left. Line up your notches and pin in place. We're going to have an on the machine at five eighths. slippery fabric. If you don't have your needle down yet, it might just slide right out from under your foot again. That's why I start with my needle down, because it's so slippery and slidey. Steps four and five are constructing the lining sections in exactly the same way that we just constructed the bodice sections. So what I'm gonna have you do is end the video. We're gonna end the video. Go ahead and sew your lining sections two, one, two, and three based on steps four and five. And if you have any confusion, um, just rewind this video and start again because that lining is going to be the exact same way that we just did the bodice. And then we will meet back together for step six when we're going to pin the lining into the bodice.